Hello, Feli. How are you? I know. Great, thank you. And you? Uh, yes, great too. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and uh, also where you are from? I'm from Austria. Yeah. I'm studying at the Vienna University of Business okay. and Economics. Studying in Bordeaux now. Uh, now so. <laughs> okay, great. And uh, what's your passion in life? What do you like to do for, in order to know a little bit more about yourself? <laughs> I'm going jogging very often. I'm also happy to make new experiences. I try out a lot of new things, especially now in Bordeaux. And I'm also um, doing some projects with friends. So, yeah. Great. And um, why did you choose to study in France and uh, in Bordeaux? Um, I decided to come to France because I learned French for uh, quite a long time and I really also liked the country when I was there for vacation. Okay. Yeah. Where did you go for vacation in France? Um, I was at the Côte d'Azur. I was ah. three weeks in Nizza. Where? I'm from <laughs> Cannes, near Nice. Ah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I visited also Cannes. It's a very beautiful city. Ah, yes. It's uh, <laughs> a really great city. <laughs> What's your uh, the best experience you've had so far in Bordeaux and also in Cage? I think my best experience was maybe the melting pot. So I went in the park, we had the picnic and there okay. were so many different people, Erasmus people, also the uh, French people and we were all just having oh, a so good cool. time. The weather was perfect. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I have a question more about uh, the city of Bordeaux itself. Where do you love going in Bordeaux? to chill with your friends, for example? I think there are many places. It's hard, it's hard to say that there is one place that I prefer. Mm -hmm. um, I love going to the river, to the Garonne. I love going to the Chardin Public okay. and chill there. But I also love going to, to the beach or to the parks around the city. And I think it's also perfect to just get a coffee and walk through the city, uh, go to the Saint Catherine. Oh, great. Go and uh, do you have a lot of free times between your courses uh, to do some things like that with the other international students, for example? I think there there's enough time to visit Bordeaux, to visit people. So yeah. It's Especially with the online classes, I feel like mm. I can save more time yeah, for my free time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, can you give us uh, a novel feeling of uh, um, your experience in, uh, in Bordeaux and in France? Maybe a comparison between your life in, in Vienna and uh, here? For me, it was really a unique experience. I have never been um, away from home for such a long time. I also, it's also the first time for me living alone away from my parents, so it's really nice to be free, to experience such, uh, so many new things, to get to know so many different people from different cultures. And it's also nice because I have the feeling that I could get to know the French culture a little bit better. Do you have uh, an advice for a new international student, or for me for instance, <laughs> that will go to to uh, an Erasmus experience uh, next year? Um, my advice for Erasmus students would be to really be open, to try out everything you want to do and just do the things. For me it was also helpful to really try to speak and improve my French. It was sometimes hard, I also don't get everything the French people say, <laughs> but I feel as I have improved a lot, yes. so yeah. And I can also um, recommend to live in the city center because I feel like life is better in the city center. It's easier to, to discover the city yeah. and people. Yeah, and it's where the life happens. So. Yes, of course. So, but thank you, Feli, for, for your time and for your answers. Uh, thank you a lot. Thank you for having me here today. <laughs>